Hey everybody, I'm Joel Cherico and this is all the pottery I made this month. With the team of uh, our magic pottery elves, we're getting everything polished and ready to get shipped out. But before we did that, uh, every month we've been doing these grab bag sales, which is kind of just putting all, all this collection of pottery together. And so we brought it all outside so we could see it in the natural sunlight. Uh, to see some of the styles that I made this month and then we'll all we'll put it all together in a grab bag listing once um, We're done polishing and sanding all the pottery so it doesn't scratch your tables um, So I just wanted to show and kind of look at for myself too some of the styles of this month um, It's kind of nice to self critique every once in a while to keep high standards of quality um, so I figured I'd, I'd look at everything and kind of tell you about some of the styles and the colors and why I decided to do some of these. So I haven't made cereal bowls in a long time, so probably a couple dozen cereal bowls are in this batch and super cereal, but they're made this specific shape and size so they can stack, you know, stack two of them or four of them. Um, and a local coffee shop in town actually uses these as their 16 ounce soup bowls. So I tested to make them a certain size so they would fit their portions when they serve in a restaurant. So all the bowls are about 16 ounces. There's some in a cobalt and some in iron brown, cobalt blue. One or two have this spiral up the side that just a little more movement in and out from when I was twisting the clay on the pottery wheel. And so they don't stack quite as well if it's got that spiral or you know, finger marks on the side, but I think it's worth it to have that quality. Um, spoon rests. I haven't made spoon rests in a year or two. It's been a while, but I've made a batch. So a couple dozen of those are in this month's grab bag. And you can see my finger marks from holding on to the pot as I was dipping it in the glaze. And it's, it's kind of funny, I can barely hold it now because the pot shrunk in the kiln firing. They shrink a little bit. So even though that's where I held it, now it's a little bit smaller uh, from the kiln firings. Some experimental pieces. I couldn't really come up with a good name for these. I'm splashing iron on the surface and then dip them in a clear glaze and another splashy type color palette with blue and black. This is a brown. So I just call them experimental because I, I have fun making them. It's kind blue of like a more shock. What's that? You said blue and black. Sorry, uh, uh, black. It, it's sometimes a little bit blue. And I said blue because it's actually the same glaze as this, mm. but this is on a white glaze, which makes it turn blue. You can see that shimmering effect is what happens when the white and black glaze combine, they turn blue. But you're right, it's actually a black glaze when it's not combined with the white glaze. And red. Does that make sense? Yeah, so the red, black, and the whole thing's under a clear glaze. These are not under a clear glaze. So some experimental pieces, not very many of those. You can see just a few scattered in between. Then the Nuka Cobalt, that's what I call that blue color palette. Um, pretty dark this month. I, I like it a little bit darker because sometimes it will naturally go light and dark depending on the thickness, but this dark shimmering, you get these little specks and spots and it, it's a more dynamic glaze when it's dark. Um, the clay is also blushing orange like that. I didn't put orange on there. The clay is white, but it turns orange around the finger marks from the, the heat of the glaze and the, the fact that the glaze has wood ashes in it the wood ashes cause the clay to melt in a, in a kind of a weird way. You get all kinds of crazy effects when you use wood ashes in the glaze. That's what's causing this iron to turn yellow and give me these interesting drips. I always include one like really high-end valuable pot in the grab bag pots. Um, so it's a Neptune mug this month. And this again, it's the same combo as the Nuka Cobalt but um, I add cobalt on the surface and see how these drips are moving sideways? It's because it's fired sideways in the kiln like that. So this is the only part of the pot that's, that's dry because if it's wet, it if it's glossy, that means it was liquid at one point in the kiln. So it was hanging like that and then I can lift it off when it's finished and fired. And it reminds me of the, the gases on the, the planet Neptune, the gassy blue planets. And so those retail for like $700, but I'm putting it in the grab bag sale. So one person is going to get that randomly. It all just ships out randomly. Um, some copper green in here. I just, I, I, I thought that was an interesting color combo, the green and iron next to each other. So it's copper and iron. Um, 
didn't miss anything. One more version of an experimental piece. There's, I think, three of these bowls that have just splashes and brushes of a little bit of uh, cobalt glaze and uh, copper greens. Um, see, this one still needs to be polished, which we'll spend the next couple days doing. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're a patron, we're giving our patrons a 10% off coupon, so make sure you use that if you're a patron for the grab bag pottery. Um, when it's sold out, just wait until next month. I've been doing this every single month for almost a year now, so hopefully we can keep it up. Thanks, bye.